It was a walk Stephen Avery had dreamed of for 18 years. Finally, freedom. As he takes his first steps outside the state prison in Stanley, he's asked how it felt. Free. <laughs> Simply, it feels free. Back home, relatives waited patiently. After 18 years, the last few hours were the longest until finally the reunion. Long too long, time. though, too long. Yeah. Oh, God, I love you, baby. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm glad you're home, honey. <laughs> Tonight, we sat down with Avery as it all started to sink in. He says he's not sure what comes next. I don't know. <laughs> well, probably. Probably get up and eat breakfast or something. <laughs> try to have a regular day, huh? Yeah. I'll have to try a little bit. That'd be different sleeping in a good bed. Avery says after a while behind bars, he intentionally distanced himself from his family. And sometimes I had to cuss him out a couple of times, you know, and don't come up no more. And, and sometimes it was pretty tough. And you did that because it was... Too hard to be that close just, to them? No, it's just too hard. They got to leave and I got to go back. And it's pretty tough. Now it's about mending fences and moving on. And perhaps, he says, trying to get other innocent men out of prison. A lot of them say they're innocent, but then they come down and break down. And they said they did it. But there's a few are innocent. Hopefully, no. They can do the same thing what I did.